Okay, you did something. What do you want? I just thought you could use a little break. Plus to sharpen your mind a little bit. What? What is that supposed to mean? Never mind. Look on your bed. Ah, oh, Scoob. Solve that, and then you can get back to the game. It should refresh you a little bit. Eh, yeah, I suppose it might. It's definitely a better puzzle than the stuff that's so obscure in Majora's... <laughs> All right, I'll just get to it. And by obscure, I mean some of these things you're just... I don't know how one could figure out without a guy. But anyway, so a skew is a puzzle that turns at a pretty odd angle. It looks like that you turn these things, but no, 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 you, you turn them that away. And I'm going to be trying to get myself a... Uh, Aside here, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna kind of rotate that blue one around there, and this blue one is also in decent position too. So now I got one full side. Now I'd like to match up these corners here. So to do that, I am going to sledgehammer around until I get no corners matched up on the top. We're looking for green here, and then I put two of the front corners there facing to the right and do another sledgehammer here. This is difficult to do in front of a camera. There we go. They are all solved. Now for the remainders, I would like to try and create a three cycle of edge pieces. Yeah, so this one is going to go here. This one here is going to go there. This one is going to go all the way back around to here by doing one sledgehammer that away and then flipping the cube around, doing a sledgehammer on the other side. And now we've got a perfect three cycle setup for the finale here. So let's do another one of those two sledgehammer dealios. And it is done. Woo! That was much more fun than Majora's Mask. But unfortunately, I guess I gotta get back to it. Will it work this time? Yes, of course it will. Wait, maybe I should have just checked the plug before. Ah, whatever, that was a nice break. Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back to Pika Gam's saddest walkthrough. We're gonna play the song of inverted time every time you're gonna fresh stand freaking summer. Alright, so we slow down the time, give us maximum amount of time. And this time we are going over to the North Clock Town Gate to progress with the game. Because I'm tired of side questing for now, and I'd like to combine side quests when at all possible for the sake of I guess you could say the least stress possible. <laughs> as long as I'm over here, I'll be able to show you this now. Remember I said that these wiggly moving pieces of grass give you a prize if you cut them all at once? This is what I'm gonna try doing now. Yeah, they drop a red rupee, baby. Ooh, ooh, plus the other rupees that you get for, yeah, just stuff. <laughs> Alright, so now that I showed that, I will go over to the mountains. The mountains of Snowhead lie this way, be careful, yada yada yada. We know we've been this way before, but this time we're actually going up to the icy structure up there. But we can't really do that until we get arrows. And the lovely conveniences of Majora's Mask... Oh, I actually got arrows on my first cut there. But basically, the lovely conveniences of Majora's Mask make it so that you gotta cut the grass to get your stuff back or go to the shop and buy them with your saved rupees. But since I'm trying to save rupees, that that's kind of not an option. <laughs> 
and there's this little little giblet on the wall here. Um, yeah, see this? It's a little carving over there, and well, I should say painting over there. And if you pull out your ocarina, uh, I said if you pull out your ocarina, you'll get a doo 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 doo. I think. Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't get a dun dun dun, dun when you're close enough. So I guess just. Memori wait, I, maybe you don't have to memorize the wall, you can just do it sort of kind of like that, and then go... Ah, uh, yep, remember that song from Ocarina of Time? Well, if you play it there, or, well, I should say, if you play whatever song is painted up on the wall there, you can get a rupee prize as well. I'm trying to get a bunch of rupees for another bomb break uh, upgrade, because it's going to take 200 rupees, which is, I, <laughs> means I need to fill my wallet completely. I don't know if I'll be able to do it by the time I get there, but we'll see. Up here, take a look at this. I bet if you had a weapon that was strong enough, one shot from it could pierce right through this. Well, it might take two shots. So, let's just, uh... Yeah, this is why we need the arrows. I'm glad I got an arrow drop right away, because sometimes that doesn't happen. You can be cutting grass for hours. Well, maybe not literally hours, but still. <laughs> Alright, and we bought the map to Snowhead so we can see the spots over here. See this smoke coming out of the snow? If you approach it, blue tectite attack! So prepare to pull out your shield when you're approaching those. He's l and you follow it as it bounces. They're not a difficult enemy by any means, you just kinda let them come pfft, let them come to you and then slash at them with your sword. Easy peasy. And there's some more rupees. <laughs> These snowballs, however, can't do anything about. Unless you say have bombs or the bomb mask. Let's just pull that out, because that was my plan in case I didn't get a bomb drop at this point in the game. So I'm just gonna go flop on up through here down this path. There really isn't anything to get around this point in the game at this point in time, really. So I'm just gonna just gonna kinda flop around here and gonna put on the mask. She's Tattle will be like, this is no good. If we just blast these snowballs out of the way, we could get through. Well, luckily, we've got the power of the mask. So put up your shield and blast those boulders right out of your way. And that's the only time that you need to use bombs up here. So, yeah, that's kind of handy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to, have to wait for anything or whatnot. You don't, you don't have to get those uh, bombs in the grass and whatnot. So there's... Saying that Goron should be able to break the snow boulders easily, but we, we don't know if any Gorons around here. It's just too cold for Gorons. There wouldn't be any Gorons living around here. It's the mountain village, which really doesn't have much to see because it's kind of cold and desolate. Oh, there's a Goron. Would you look at that? Mysterious. Well, I guess I should go talk to that Goron, because i just seen him right off to the side, so why not? You just need, Maybe he'll have something to say. Whoa, 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 whoa! Up here, up here! I am sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I am very hungry and I've got, gotten stuck here. Oh, it's so cold. I'm so very hungry. I don't think I'm going to make it. You know, if you put on clothes, that would help a little bit. I just want to eat once more before I die up here. Something tough and hard to chew. I cannot forget that flavor. So this is hinting at a future side quests, by the way. But I'm not gonna do be able to do that until... Well, I mean, I guess I could do that and then do the things associated with later, but basically it's associated with those frogs. Anyway, let's activate our little warp slash fake hard save point there and move on to the cabin. Because the cabin is a place that we must check for the sake of another side quest in the future, I suppose. We could sharpen any sword and wear cards here. A sword works hard for you. And these two... Oh, pot! Combined with plants, yes! Fuzzy spore like for Link. Okay, Mountain Smithy. These two are pretty hilarious. Shut up, Leatherface. I saw I was having a good dream. Oh, um, uh, welcome to the Mountain Smithy, where you take our time and make a good point. I am Zubora, the owner. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Shut up over there. That huge fellow is my assistant, Gabora. He's all brawn, about as smart as a Deku stick. In all honesty, Gabora knows more than he's uh, giving him credit for. Say, did you come to have your sword sharpened? 
Unfortunately, we're not doing any business right now. It's because of this abnormal cold snap we've been having. See, our hearth has been frozen over. The way things are going now, I won't be able to do any business until spring. If I could just do something about that frozen hearth... <laughs> eh, what's that? You say if we had hot water, we could melt the ice off the hearth? Don't act like you know what you're talking about, you Deku stick. He is correct about the hot water, by the way. Oh, he believes the rumor. It says long ago there are hot springs somewhere in the mountains near here. Bah, I don't believe such rubbish. So yeah, he's just, uh, he's gonna kind of grumble all day long. Ah, you're so loud. You've got to understand, I have to melt this ice off my hearth before I can go to work. Come back in the spring after the ice melts. Well... Yeah, this is something to upgrade your sword for the future, so keep that in mind. Oh, 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 pot with plant. Pot with plant has returned. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Okay, let's move on here. So there's this over here. It's a sheer cliff. Can't really do anything about this. As far as we know of, deep water Gorons beware. Gorons who can't swim shouldn't play near here. Oh, oh cold water. Cold, cold water. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. So yeah, there's nothing really there that you know of. But over here, there's also something that's nothing over here. This way to Snowhead, beware the Slippery Valley Trail and the giant falling snowballs. I'm just going to show you this here for kicks, just because for the few... Well, actually, I don't really have to show you it. Because you can't really get through this anyway, but eh, I'll just show you that, hey, yeah, this is a dead end. And there's ice keys hanging out over here. These things suck because if they touch you, you'll fro they'll freeze you. Yeah, um, get your bow. <laughs> oh, it touched me just as I killed it. Well, that'll work. Oh, wait, wait, I arrows, 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 yeah. When you get bundles of three like that, they're 15, bundles of two are 10, and bundles of five are, I mean, bundles of three are five, excuse me. Close to the general public and those who cannot perform the Goron jump. We cannot perform the Goron jump. As we are not a Goron, so no Goron jumping for us. Alright, that's the basics of the area, I guess. As I said, there's, there's not really all that much over here. So, <laughs> I'm just kind of... I, I could have gone in a different direction to kind of get stuff going a little bit quicker, but you know, I was like, eh, I'll show you around first. Just to give you an idea of what we might need to do, what we might need to go for the future to put things into context. And the actual place that we should be going to is the Goron Village over here. Beware of the White Wolfus. Oh no, not the White Wolfus. In an incredibly easy enemy, anything but that. Oh no, a Tektite, an incredibly easy enemy, anything but that. <laughs> so there's Tingle up there, he's hanging out. I should probably shoot him down because I'll be able to buy another map ahead of time, I suppose. And, oh no, White Wolfus! Yeah, you can shoot them with the bow, you can hold your shield up and slash at them whenever they hit your shield right afterwards. They go down so easily, you won't even realize that you're fighting them. <laughs> Alright, so, no, 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 don't you dare go back up on your... You just had to go back up on there while I was fighting that, didn't you? Didn't you? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will save my rupees rather than buying a map, because I don't need to buy a map right now. So maybe I'll just leave Tingle to do his dance and have a good day. So there's this over here, which will freeze you. So don't touch it. <laughs> I just wanted to show that. I d I've never heard of ice freezing someone on contact like that before, but it's just, just how things work, I suppose. It's just that cold of ice. Maybe it's like dry ice or something like that. So, you know, I really don't need to bother with you at all. I'll just kind of kind of hop up this way. <laughs> and I'll just hang out over here. I'm going to go around the perimeter. Uh, I think I will go around counterclockwise. But first, I'm going to talk to this Goron here. Because he's the only one that's really outside. It's cold. Being the gatekeeper in this cold is hard. Uh, no, not right now. I can't do anything in there anyway. But I just wanted to show you him there. Uh, just for now, and there's also a business scrub over here which you can use to buy said bomb bag, but you're I'm not in the correct state, I guess you could say, <laughs> to get that bomb bag. Well, actually, I could I could chat with him anyway, just for kicks. This is a part of that Deku scrub 
um, land title deed trading quest thing. So yeah, he's like, I'm sorry, but I can't do business with you if you're not a Goron. It's regulation of the Business Scrub Association. Can't be helped. It hurts, I know. So it's like, even, it's like now the businesses are discriminating against people and also Deku Scrubs, come to think of it, and also something else, if you come to think of it. But anyway, what is, what is, what the heck is this? Hmm. Hmm. Lone Peak Shrine ahead. Watch your step, it's a long way down. Oh boy. You see it? Oh god, no. Please, just let me attack you. Please, I would just want to kill you before. Ah, oh, freaking. Woohoo, you meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Or at least they have been, I'll admit. Well, it seems like you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as I had expected, but the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. The land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns right within you, then that's another story. Yes, I will. I don't want to hear your dialogue again. Woohoo! So you are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do, not, do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now. Flying towards that shrine across the way, so follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you and the two paths shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me! And there he goes. So this feather is dropping down, and they're going to land on invisible platforms. Watch them. Watch them. See that? See that? Uh-huh. Oh, I actually slipped off there. They're icy. Just a little bit there. So, yeah, just kind of angle yourself towards each feather, and then jump from... Whoa! Jump from feather to feather. It's... I'm glad you grab onto the ledges. Because that would be a little sucky. Oh, uh-oh. Um, the feather's kind of disappearing, kind of disappearing, gotta hurry this up, gotta hurry this Okay, that worked a lot better. <laughs> Hoot, I've certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. Alright, sounds good. So let's go in. And open the bin. Take this, you dang plants. Okay, let's open this. <laughs> plants get in my way. How dare they? And we get the lens of truth. Gaze through it to see mysteries that are invisible to the naked eye. Set it to see to use it. Seeing the truth dreams magic power. So tilt C again to stop looking and use up using up magic. So we set this sucker over to a C button, like any sort of button. Then we turn this on and we're like, oh, now we can see stuff. But we don't really see anything now, do we? Well, what what if we were to say, you know, just kinda like take a peek see around this room here like let's just drop some bombs by these boulders first and just clear them out of the way I thought you could blow up some okay yeah you can blow up some of these yeah just I just use my shield next to the boulder to automatically drop them so here's a chest let's open that chest to see what we get we get a purple rupee oh yeah it's looking like we are increasing our rupee count but you know that boulder didn't really show anything did it hmm, no it did not Oh, well, what was that behind this chest? Oh, that's the power of the Mask of Truth. Well, what is that shadow? It is a hidden, invisible skull to lie. Yeah, um, that's the thing about the Mask of Truth, is that it shows you what the eye cannot see. A red rupee, for instance. Okay, that's not really true, but really you can't destroy this boulder? I find that hard to believe, considering it's just like the other ones. Okay, there you go. That's kind of weird it didn't blow up before, but... At the, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to turn this off, but yeah, um... That's Majora's Mask in a nutshell, I guess. Put a bomb right next to a boulder, doesn't mean it's gonna blow up. So this is what we were walking on before with these icy platforms, which are much easier to, to traverse now we can see the hard edges of them. Oh, look at this. This is that shadow that we've seen before. Huh? You look like you're... you're a lot lighter than you used to be, let's just put it that way. So anyway, oh! I just want to speak, thank you. <laughs> can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, 
then follow behind me, and then you follow him. Now, you're supposed to use the Lens of Truth, but if you're worried about losing your Lens of Truth juice, just follow the shadow instead. <laughs> Seriously, it works just as well. Look at that. <laughs> but you do need to turn that on when you get to, like, uh, junction points, I guess you could say, like, between transition points of screens. But other than that, you can just kind of save your juice for a little bit later on. And so I'll just kind of go around this path where I know exactly where he's going to, and just kind of head on up ahead of him, I suppose, and maybe even wait for him. That'll be fun times. <laughs> so now, this is what this is all mean about the shadow. It won't go on without you being able to see him, because it'll just stop right there until you turn this on, and then the cutscene will happen, so yeah. And now you follow him between transition screens, and then you just keep following him along thusly. Just gotta trigger another cutscene with the lens of truth, and continue on. I just ignore the wolfus. <laughs> you don't have to do anything with the wolfus whatsoever, because when they try to attack you, they freeze themselves in their own tracks, and then they can't touch you. <laughs> it's kind of pathetic. Wolfus are some of the easiest enemies, I gotta say. Alright, so, let's do your cutscene magic. Thank you. And yeah, this is taking a while, I know. That's how things roll. And now we're gonna be doing something else. Like, remember that sheer cliff that I showed you earlier when I was exploring the area, showing you around? Well, actually, that sheer cliff is not so sheer. There's actually some holds along that wall that you can't see unless you have the Lens of Truth on. So, what you should do is stand on- Oh! Yeah! Okay. So stand on this and walk, take a look up here and kind of think about where you want to take your path all the way up to the top. Now, you don't necessarily have to think about when you're going up, per se. You just have to think of the junctions. In this case, it's go to the right, and go to the left at that junction, and back to the right again, and then straight up. Got it? Good. So here we go. Right, left, right. So it, it's best probably to have the Lens of Truth on as well, for obvious reasons. As, uh... Yeah, it's kind of hard to feel your way around when you, when you can't see. <laughs> So, this is why I wanted to save my magic, because um, otherwise I would have been using a bunch of it for this before this climb, following that ghostly Goron. So, yeah, it seemed like a good idea, so I wouldn't have to cut grass or something like that to regain my magic power. And then we go over to here, and there we go. We made it through perfectly. We can turn this off now. Oh no, there's a frozen Goron! There's a Goron that's chilly next to him. This is the grave where a Goron hero rests. I came here to put up the Great Heroes Memorial, but the return route has been blocked by snow and I can't get back to Goron Village. And even worse, my brother has been frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, it's times like this that make me wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I found when I was digging the hero's grave. But the hot spring is now covered by the gravestone. I, I can't move a gravestone that big by myself. I guess this is what's meant by the Goron saying, There's no use in crying over spilt rocks. <laughs> or, you know, milk, something like that. I, th I think I think they are taking a copyrighted thing. Oh, thanks for the magic now. <laughs> yeah, I think they're I think they're stealing someone's copyrighted work. Don't steal. <laughs> So this is the Goron Graveyard. This is where the other Goron went into. Yep. 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 Uh-huh. That's where he was leading you to if you didn't didn't watch where he was going. This this guy is so awkward to speak to for some reason. It's like that the point where you can speak to him is between is outside of range and inside his range where you can't speak to him. It's weird. The sewing one said the one who could see me who would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Dar <clears throat> Darmani the Third. The blood of the proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say. When I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead. Well, not. I mean, I, I guess sorta of you are. I mean, I, I don't think I'd mind being dead if if I could still wander around like this in a way. <laughs> Because <laughs> your consciousness is still there, in a way. You can talk to other ghosts and whatnot. Oh, whatever. whatever. 
I was fine until I marched off the snow head by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wrecking havoc on Gorn Village, then the blizzard at Snowhead blew me into the valley, and now here I am. How infuriating. As I am, I can only watch Goron Village. Watch as Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So you can use magic. The Soaring One has also told me you are able to use it. I beg you, please bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond my, your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. Do you know what he's talking about? Do you know? Yeah, it's a song of healing. <laughs> Oops, I actually went in here for the ocarina. There you go. So whip it out. Wait, wait, no. There we go. Left, right, down, left, right, down. Voila. He's like, oh, what a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. Enjoy! And... Yeah, he was pretty well loved. But... he's dead now. Oh. I know it's kind of hard for me to take Sorrowful cutscene seriously in Majora's Mask, considering that she'll be resetting time and whatnot at, at, at different points in time. <laughs> but I suppose he stays healed throughout time, in theory. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplish while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. Anyway. I got the Goron Mask. It contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Where the mask could see to inhabit the body of a Goron. Till see again to return to normal. Yes. For the Goron village, I have asked your assistance. So, we want to whip out our newfangled mask. And it's just as disturbing as the other ones. There we go. And we don't ever have to see it again. Let's check this out. Goron Hero, Darmani the Third rests here. In honor of our great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of great hero. We read the knowledge imparted by the hero. Oh, actually, I should I should show you something else here. If you don't have the mask on, you actually can't read this. It is written in letters you have never seen before, so it's written in, I guess you could say, Goron's native tongue. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, the whole thing about healing Darmani here doesn't really make much sense if you think about it because he was being sorrowful up until this point in the day where that I healed him, right? So in theory, I healed him after the start of the first day, but beyond this point, since I've healed him, it apparently goes back even before I reset the three days because he'll always be healed somehow Apparently, so yeah, it's hard for me to take that completely seriously. <laughs> in honor of her, yes, 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 yes. I would like to read that now. Techniques for action in battle. This is basically. Oh shoot! I clicked through it too fast. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, chosen Goron hero, your power to lift objects without effort is mightier than the strength of any other, and your heart is strong too, as it is filled with compassion that is kinder than any other. Goron heroes press A and control sticks so that they may curl up and roll wherever it is that they may need to go. The Gorons who possess magic power will roll swiftly enough, spikes will emerge from their bodies so that they may mow down enemies. Water is disastrous for Goron heroes, for they sink like stones and are rendered motionless in the deep. Beware. So basically, water, bad. If you want to swim in water take off the mask all right one more time yes yes for battle a powerful punch that Goron heroes unleashed by pressing B is feared by all by repeatedly pressing B Goron heroes will deal out a barrage of punches after using A to curl up a Goron can jump with B and land with a quaking impact that is so mighty can flatten enemies all right but the main thing that we're doing here is I want to grab this and move the grave over. Yeah, we're, we're kind of moving our own grave over. Sort of, kind of, if you think about it. <laughs> because you're in, you're in the body of that Goron. And yeah, now we got some hot spring water here. 
and we're going to be using this for something in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. I'm going to roll around here, just kind of having a good time. <laughs> and that is how I'm going to end off the parts with a big roll. And bounce. <laughs>